Julien Perrot spent a long time meticulously counting his loonies, toonies, quarters and smaller change. He then rolled them up into neat little packages. It's no small change either. Perrot had accumulated nearly $800 in a single year and he was excited to deposit it into his account at the Laurentian Bank right next door. But to his shock, the bank would not take his money. The lady said to me, um, after waiting in line, uh, sorry, we don't take the coins anymore. So I'm like, what do you mean? So she's like, yeah, there's a new policy. We don't accept uh, coins anymore. Stunned, Perrot asked the woman behind the counter what he should do with his coins. Then she, she answers me um, very ni nicely. She's like, well, you can shop around with like uh, grocery stores, dépanneurs, uh, pharmacies. They, they love coins. They, they, they love coins. You, you go there and they will trade you your, your coins. The Laurentian Bank would not grant us an interview, but in a statement it confirmed that it no longer accepts coins. It says all other transactions can be done at a bank machine or by telephone so that its staff can focus on helping its clients with their financial planning. The CIBC also has some cashless branches, but many of them still accept change. The Royal Mint, the federal watchdog that oversees the country's banks, and the Canadian Bankers Association all say there is no law in place that forces banks to accept coins or any other kind of currency for that matter. Perrot is worried going cashless could be a growing trend at Canadian banks, and he wants Ottawa to do something about it. I'm scared that uh, for saving money and cutting down the costs, uh, all the banks will follow eventually if there's no laws or nobody's watching them. Uh, so, so what will happen? Uh, so we, we'll get stuck with the coins, we will need to pay for getting rid of the coins. Perrot says after 15 years, he'll close his Laurentian bank account. He's thinking of changing his ways and depositing his cash at the Desjardins branch next door.